today's video we're back with the sony fs5 beginners guide and in today's video we're going to be talking about frame rates now what is frame rates you guys might be asking now frame rates is the frequency at which consecutive images are copied or displayed this term also applies to film and video computer graphics and motion capture systems frame rate may be called frame frequency in that case it is expressed with the term hertz so if you're looking for a monitor 60 hertz 60 frames per second 75 hertz 75 frames per second there you go now where is the frame rate here located on the sony fs5 now you do have two sections on the sony fs5 like a lot of the options and settings here on the sony fs5 you do have one on the body and that's going to be a slow and quick button and you also have the different selectors and different modes and frame rates that you can also select in the menu selector that i'll be showing you guys in this video later on on to that slow and quick button on the body now that slow and quick button is just going to allow you to get into slow motion as quickly as possible now if you press this button once it's going to automatically put you in 180 frames per second and it goes all the way up to 360 480 and 960 frames per second now with that 480 and 960 frames per second you will get a huge degradation in quality so make sure you are you know going to know how bad the quality and crop in is going to be on those higher frame rates if you're going to be using them here on the sony fs5 now if we jump into the menu system you also have the record video set now in there you can select your resolution and next to the resolution will have your frame rate and then next to that you're going to have your bit rate on there as well so we're going to just be focusing on those first two the frame size and the frame rate so if you want to shoot anything 1080p here on the sony fs5 you're actually able to shoot 24p 30p and i believe all the way up to 60p here on the sony fs5 and that's going to be in the menu setting you also can click and hold on the slow and quick button to actually change that all the way down to one frame per second if you guys wanted to do any types of time lapse here on the sony fs5 now if you were one of those lucky people to actually get the high frame rate upgrade for your sony fs5 let's go ahead and go over the frame rates that you now have available when using that upgrade now with that high frame rate upgrade you still have all of the frame rates that we previously went over in the first part of the video and you're going to have that additional frame rate of 1080p 120 frames per second now this is going to be continuous anything that you use the slow and quick button for is going to be either start or stop trigger any of the slower frame rates like 120 frames per second if you had that high frame rate upgrade 60 45 and 30 frames per second all can be done internally and don't necessarily need to be pressing that slow and quick button now i know a lot of people have issues with the pow and ntsc selectors here on the camera now if you are shooting in pow which is going to be like an overseas frame rate or just frame frequency option that you can pick now you're going to have a different frame rate set than we do have over here in ntsc now you're going to have a hundred frames 200 frames 300 frames 400 frames and i think 800 frames here on the sony fs5 when you're using that slow and quick button now when you jump into the menu setting here on the sony fs5 your frame rates are going to be a little bit different you're probably going to have 25 frames you're probably going to have i believe 31 frames and i think it might be 40 or 50 frames on the menu setting here on the fs5 if you wanted to just use regular slow motion and then just slow it down in post that is going to be the frame rates here in the sony fs5 let's go over a couple of tips that i want to give you guys when setting your frame rate here on the sony fs5 now when using the slow and quick mode you're going to have to be able to wait for the camera and do those start and stop triggers now if you didn't want to do any start stop trigger and you wanted to shoot anything over 60 frames per second definitely grab the high frame rate upgrade and in my case scenario i normally don't even use the 1080p 
in 60 or 100 frames per second majority of the time like you're seeing right here I'm using 24 frames per second to get my talking head segments now if I need to do any type of slow motion I will jump down to the 60 frames per second frame rate and just slow it down in post if you guys need any more of a breakdown into frame rates I actually did two different videos on the Sony FS5 one is going to be the cinematic video settings which is going to be that 24 frames per second and then I did another one which is going to be that slow motion video settings which is going to be that 60 frames per second in this video we went over the slow and quick and the menu modes that you can set here on the Sony FS5. Remember the slow and quick, you're gonna get higher frame rates, but once you get over 480, you're gonna have a degradation in quality and also a crop in. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you haven't seen the other two videos, we went over white balance and ISO so far, and this is going to be frames per second here for the Sony FS5 beginner's guide. If you guys are enjoying, make sure you hit that like button and stay subscribed so you can see the rest of the videos coming in the series. It's me, Boy Christian, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.